An unruly passenger is forced a Virgin Blue flight from Bali to Melbourne to make an emergency landing in Broome. Two off-duty prison guards had to restrain the man with handcuffs until the plane landed. Grounded at Broome Airport, this Virgin plane forced to make an unscheduled landing in the Kimberley tourist town because of a passenger's bizarre behaviour during a flight from Bali to Melbourne. Yelling and uh, putting his arms up and they thought he was going to try and open the back doors. He was interrupting other passengers space on the plane. And he kept acting very strangely. Two off-duty prison officers on the flight labelled heroes for helping crew manage the situation. We just held his arms down. Once you've got the cuffs on him, you're able to get a better control of him. And we moved him to the back of the plane. We physically carried him to the back of the plane. Those returning from holidaying relieved to have their feet back on the ground. The mid-air incident left a total of 148 passengers stranded in Broome. I wasn't not scared. Um, we, it's just not something that you see on a flight, so when it happened we were all just sort of in shock. Police met the plane when it landed. The 40-year-old Melbourne man was taken to the local hospital for a psychiatric assessment and was airlifted to Perth by the Royal Flying Doctor this afternoon. The crew and the staff, they've done an excellent job by restraining the person and uh, we all landed safe and we're all very, very happy for it. The remaining passengers are this evening en route to Melbourne. Jessica Strutt, Nine News. Two people have been injured after up to 100 gate crashes stormed a party in Mandurah. The mob threw bricks and bottles, trashing a house and cars. Tyron Ashton was bashed with bricks and glass bottles while trying to protect a group of girls from the violence. Got bottled there and yeah, that's when I hit the floors. Gate crashers turned up to the house party just after nine last night using anything they could get their hands on to smash windows in three different cars before taking to the front windows of the house. Why would people do this? So I have no need for it. I just can't believe it. It's just upsetting. upsetting. It's not, I didn't do nothing wrong. Chris Werrett was hosting a small going away party at his Greenfields home when the group arrived uninvited. His dad was forced to kick them out but was then threatened with a kitchen knife. Once they were on the street they became more violent. I did hear a few smashes and I could hear like thuds like people getting pushed into fences. It was very rowdy, very rowdy. A lot of yelling and swearing. The people who were here say they were under attack for up to 45 minutes and they say the gate crashes only left when police arrived. Mandurah has been a trouble spot for the past few months. This is the latest in a string of out of control parties. It's a good um, measure for people to register their parties with the police. That way, w when time permits, we can do static patrols of, of those, those residents just, just to keep an eye on things. Lee Steele, Nine News.